I think it's very different. You have so, so many more facilities, uh, so much more hands-on experience. You are trying things out, you are doing projects. Even in a maths class, you've got a potato and ice water and you're measuring the temperature. I think it's a much more immersive experience and I think the students seem to be having more fun than I did in school. So I was involved in the planning of and the filming of the actual video itself. I was also involved in the discussion of what would go into the final video. Overall, I felt that this media coverage experience was a very engaging one and it was as hands-on as it could get for us media students. Well, I think the opportunity to interact with, uh, with one another in class, to uh, try things out which are different, and not to depend so much on what is in the textbook, but uh, you learn it by yourself and you discover it by yourself, and you uh, break a new path. I think that's something which uh, we used to do, but you are doing a lot more. From the Prime Minister's visit, I have learned that an interview isn't just about asking a series of previously crafted questions. It is important that we listen intensely to what we are told so that we can find appropriate responses and follow-up questions to deepen the discussion with the person that we are interviewing. I also think that it is necessary that we are situationally aware so that we can adapt and respond to the changes in our surroundings. I feel that this interview has made me a better interviewer. Uh, first of all, pay attention in class. Uh, I, because you're focused, you're learning something, and you're absorbing uh, skills and information. But I think even out of class, uh, see, go, go out, uh, immerse yourself in the world, immerse yourself in the society around you, talk to people, get to know uh, the Singapore in which you live because uh, that's where we will be living, bringing up our families, working and uh, we are part of the society and the better we understand it, I think, the more we can do to contribute to it. I learned a lot from watching PM in action. The way he interacted with people, the encouraging words he spoke and the questions he posed. He was a kind and charismatic leader from the way he connected with people around him. I remember this one incident where he approached the uncles and aunties who cleaned our school and greeted them. This is the mark of a great leader. Well, one thing which I was very interested in walking around just now was your opportunities to go out and travel and uh, have exchanges with other countries and other schools, see how other people learn, see how other societies are like. And I think there's a lot we can pick up from that because we are living in a very rapidly changing world. And it's not just in Singapore, but also in China, in Korea, in uh, Southeast Asia. So the more we can understand of them, I think the, the, the better we will know what we are up against and also what we can do to uh, do well together with them, to cooperate with them and prosper together. What PM Lee said really resonates with me because we are living in such a globally connected world and I want to be able to relate to other people and cultures and hence be in a position to adapt well to new places, environments and situations. Well, it's, four years is still not very old for a school. I think uh, if in 20 years time the alumni can come back and you are doing well in your careers and also you've maintained the links with the School of Science and Technology and then you can have a super tree which has grown even taller by then. <laughs> <laughs> then I think uh, we will have grown something special in SST.